Democratic voters in Nevada are set to make their voices heard this weekend, and One America has a new state poll ahead of that caucus. Our very own Cameron Kramer breaks down the numbers for the Democratic race as well as the Republican contest. The Nevada Democratic Caucus is just days away, and in a state famous for slot machines, One America News didn't want to gamble on the results, so we commissioned nonpartisan research firm Gravis Marketing to survey 1,366 registered voters in the Silver State. After a narrow victory in Iowa and a loss in New Hampshire, Hillary Clinton holds a lead in Nevada, albeit a slight one. The former Secretary of State tops Sanders 53 to 47 percent in our poll, which comes with a 4 percent margin of error. In theory, that figure could push Clinton to a double-digit lead, or it could make the race a true coin flip, and given the previous caucus results in Iowa, that seems to be a likely scenario. A closer look at the results shows Clinton's support is highest among moderate or slightly conservative Democrats, while Sanders' support is further left-leaning as he scores a decisive victory among very liberal voters. In what could be a crucial demographic, the Hispanic vote is almost completely split. Both candidates have attempted to appeal to the voter group. Clinton has started ad and Twitter campaigns, while Sanders addressed a Latino roundtable group. To the best of my knowledge, undocumented people did not cause the greed and illegal behavior on Wall Street. But in our polls, Sanders holds a one-point edge, 50.8% to 49.2% among Hispanic Democrats. Continuing the trend we've seen in Iowa and New Hampshire, voters under 40 overwhelmingly side with Sanders, while seniors stick with Clinton. Each candidate captured those respective categories in our Nevada poll. Switching gears to the GOP race, which will take place days after the Democratic event, Donald Trump maintains his frontrunner status. The businessman captures 39% of the poll, while Ted Cruz trails by 16 points. Marco Rubio is the only other candidate to break the double-digit support mark, while John Kasich sits in fourth at 9%. Ben Carson and Jeb Bush are tied at the bottom of the field with just 5% support each. Trump's support is great enough that he would still be the top choice if the support of the three so-called establishment candidates, Rubio, Kasich, and Bush, was combined. Trump's 39% would best the trio's total of 33% support. One major factor for Trump's rise, 51% of total respondents in the poll are against the U.S. accepting Syrian refugees. In terms of demographics, the billionaire actually has more support among Hispanic Republicans than non-Hispanic Republicans, 39.5% to 38.7%. The figure falls in line with the prediction Trump made over the summer. Yeah, I'll, I think I'll win the Hispanic vote. You know? Trump captures 72% of the under-29 vote, while rival Cruz appeals most to very conservative Republicans and is the top choice for Mormon voters in Nevada. On the subject of religion, there's an even more interesting trend. Cruz's support among religious voters ties into how often they attend services. For voters who attend two or more times per week, he wins with 36% support. But for voters who attend just once or twice annually, Cruz has only 18% support, while Trump has 55%. Ultimately, it will come down to which voters make their voices heard on February 23rd. But we'll only have to wait until Saturday to see how the Democratic race turns out in Nevada. Cameron Kramer, One America News.